Hey guys, what's happening? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Guess what? It's time once again. We got to check the crocodile eggs. Vanessa is on her way with that cool thingamabob thingamajig camera. And we're going to take a look at the babies in the egg. This is so amazing. I am in total love with this scientific stuff. And it is so cool. And you guys get to be right here and see something happening for the first time ever. Well, actually, this is now the third time, but we discovered it. How cool is that? Something scientific, yes! All right, guys, hit that thumbs up right now. Jump out of here, hit that thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, and get back in here, and Vanessa will be here, and we'll be checking these eggs. How cool does that sound? All right. Let's do this, guys. Get swamped. Oh. All right, guys. Well, Vanessa is back. This is awesome, awesome, groundbreaking scientific stuff. So we're gonna check the Cuban eggs once again. What, this is the third time now, right? Yes. So we're gonna see how far along the development is going. So and over, what, a little over 60 days, right? Yeah, look at this egg. Oh it's already, goodness. these babies are getting big because that egg is already splitting. Wow. So, your finger, let's go. Where's my finger? There it is. Wow, there's just so much pink in there, you can't even determine what's the crocodile now. That is insane. Look at that though, that all that. Let's go to a different one. Yeah, let's go to this one. Well, you can see the crocodile. Oh, look at that. It's getting there. That is weird looking now as they develop farther. Let's go to this big puffy egg. Dang, that is weird. You can see the broken eggshells. Look at the croc. They're turning out blue now. Mm-hmm. That is so weird. It's pretty bizarre. The crocs are so big in these eggs, you can't even. Let's do. It's taken a little bit more to focus on them. Yeah, it's really hard to tell what they are. This is insane. This is pretty wild. Excellent stuff. It looks like bones oh, you're seeing. There's a lot of heat. That is crazy. Now this has never been done before. So we're just sitting here and you guys are watching. We're trying to figure out this whole thing. What how something in the egg shows up a reptile and that is cool it looks like that's the head right there there's the eye there's the tail coming this way the body that is really really interesting mm -hmm. i do need to get a little bit closer with these guys i'm noticing wow How much longer do they have? It could be anywhere from 80 something days to 100 days. So anywhere in between there. Ooh, there's a lot of heat there. Look at that white there. Yeah, that is weird. This is so weird. 
They're not as defined. No, they're just a big blob now. Because uh -huh, there's so much development in there. Look at that. Oh my goodness. There's quite a bit there. That's crazy. That's amazing. It's nice to see we've got some babies though. Yeah. This is fantastic. Yeah, this is so neat. Look at that. Holy smokes. That blue is just a piece of grass or something on top of it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, see, it picked up that one little piece of grass. Yep. <laughs> but yes, we definitely have some development in there. Look at that. It's Their eggs are pretty full. There's not much room right, for anything else. <laughs> the, yeah, when, when they hatch, you're like, how the heck did this thing come out of the egg? <laughs> and that's how that one's going to be. I'm going to be like, um, excuse me, sir, how'd you fit in that egg or ma'am? There's another one that's cracking. Oh, it's getting ready to go. But just because they're cracking, it just means it's a big baby crocodile in there. So the egg can't contain it. So the egg starts to crack to create more room for the crocodile to develop. Look at all that red in there. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Some are showing red, some are showing green and... There's no rhyme or reason for it. No, it's pretty bizarre. Let's see this big one over here. Ooh, I'm sorry, it takes a little bit to focus on them. I'm having a hard time here. That is so weird. It is really bizarre. There we go. There's just, it's, it's not even as defined as last time. Yeah. Last time you could see so much easier. And this time they are just crammed in these eggs. They are, they're ready to come out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not yet. Sit tight guys. <laughs> you got to sit tight. This one's starting to crack too. Let's see. There's my finger. So weird. Some yeah, show blue. Bizarre. Some show green. We'll see what that means once they start hatching, though. Because we have nothing to compare it to because this has never been done before, like I told you guys repeatedly. You know, we discovered this on total accident looking for the crocodile eggs. It's amazing. Look at that. That is just incredible. All that heat that's coming off of them. But they are just kind of crammed in there all together. Yeah. So it's really hard to even, to, you know, to determine. To de define what, what is what. What is what, yes. Right. <laughs> like before when we did it, we could see the tail, the head. Mm -hmm. You know, and it looked like on that one, you could see a tail and a head. But that could be just because it's developing slower. Look at There's these. one, two, wow. three, four. Four eggs in there that are cracking already. That is insane. This is how it take, takes a second. I apologize. Look at all that heat. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Oh, there we go. That's a big baby. You can see it right through the cracks. That's amazing. Look at that. That is so neat. That is so, so cool. Here's the next one. That's nice that they're all, you know, fertile too. Yeah, that, yeah. That's fantastic. We only had one egg out of the clutch sea, right? That wasn't fertile mm -hmm. this year. And that's absolutely amazing. But I think that has a lot to do with us switching their diet to only roadkill and nothing that's fed with uh, store-bought grains or anything like that. So even, well, we do feed the rabbits, rabbit pellets, pellets, and, uh, but we do get a lot of roadkill for them. 
We get deer, we get raccoons, we get possums, we get otters, we get uh, hogs. So, and, but we don't even feed the Mimi brings to the Cubans really. Every once in a while we do, but not much. And Mimi's all is grain fed, grass fed stuff that they bring in. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens here. Water spots on them. There's so many eggs that are already cracking just from the expansion of development of the baby in there. And the rest will start to crack probably next week. And because they usually develop at different paces and then they all catch up. So it's pretty cool how they do that. Wow. In there. That's fantastic. It's interesting now how they really are just a big blob. A big blob of heat. Yeah, yes, yeah. absolutely. That is that is so cool. And these are all from the same clutch. This is right? all the same clutch. I'll bet next week these eggs are all cracked like those other ones. There's a lot of moisture in this one. Just throwing it off a little bit. That's what the the blue is. Right. This is some really, really cool stuff. This is fantastic. Now Vanessa fa saves all these images and every time we do it, and then when they start hatching. I'll have her come over the day they start hatching and we'll do it and uh, see what they look like if there's movement, if we can see movement in the egg. And that way it'll be pretty cool. And we'll have a study as they've developed. Yeah. By the time they were a few days to 30 days and then 60 days. So we'll have a whole track record. There we go. Look at that. That is so That's cool. fantastic. Oh, that's beautiful. It is so amazing. We'll save that one. Nice big eggs. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're humongous eggs. Look at all that heat. That's awesome. I would imagine that's probably the head and goes around to the yeah. tail. They wrap around in there. Their head is started at one end. Then the tail comes all the way past the head again and around the body. Excellent. Now, is there a reason why you put more in some bins? It's than just the, other? the way it worked out. I didn't want to overcrowd them. So I started off doing more eggs in one bin, and uh -huh. then I was like, ah, Look let me that. put Check less. That out. That's awesome. So when they hatch, they're not fighting as much. Look at that. That's fascinating. That is so cool. That is great. This is really monumental stuff. This is, this is fantastic. You heard it, guys. Groundbreaking <laughs> stuff. I'm telling you. It's monumental. <laughs> fantastic. Beautiful. You're doing a great hey, Z, job. Did with you them. ever know that word? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Okay. I didn't. <laughs> last but not least. All right, let's do this last one. Can we go a little bit lower? <laughs> She's like, I'm only so tall. <laughs> it's a little easier for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, looking good, 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 good. Excellent. Uh, lots of red, oh, we could see a little bit of a body on that one, there we yep. go. Stay still. 
This is great. Excellent, excellent. I wish excellent. we could see the heart beating. That would be cool. But I think we'd need That's a better beautiful. camera. Mm -hmm. A yeah. more, <laughs> more uh, expensive uh, camera Certainly. without doing an x-ray. Submitted for a recommendation on their upgrades. Right? <laughs> uh, but this is some groundbreaking, amazing stuff, guys. And I am so excited about it because just to be part of it with Vanessa and the people she's working with, and it's, it's just really cool. And if you guys want to check out Vanessa, go to her Instagram. You haven't started your YouTube yet. Not yet. I noticed. <laughs> In just time. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> uh, go to her Instagram page, which is... Uh, Laser Focus Therapy. Laser Focus Therapy therapy is it all one word all one word mm -hmm. all one word i whenever i post on instagram it, her, the stuff i do with her i always share her tag her in it so you guys can check it out they're doing some cool stuff with these cameras um she's doing a lot of exotic animals big cats bears mm -hmm. um they're scanning the animal and finding the hot spot which is where there's an inflammation or something and then you guys are using lasers as therapy instead of medications, mm -hmm. which is an incredible, incredible thing. You're not pumping that animal full of drugs for no good reason, and who knows what the drug actually does to them. And if it can be cured with a laser that's in a, that's not invasive, it's much better idea. It's never easy pulling a tiger or, <laughs> or a bear for that matter. It's like grabbing a tiger by the tail. <laughs> Remember, I don't, you're too young. Exxon used to say, uh, grab a tiger by the tail. Mm -hmm. And it was it was cool stuff. Um, or was that Texaco? I forget. It was one of those two gas stations when I was a kid. Uh, grab a tiger by the tail. We're putting a tiger in your gas tank. You know, it was amazing stuff. And this is truly, truly amazing stuff we're going through right now. And we'll wait and see what hatches and how many actually hatch. And then we'll go back and look at the old footage you have and the footage we have. And we'll determine how it's going to take a couple years to get this down to a perfect science. I think next year I'm going to keep the bad eggs. Mm -hmm. And that way we can always scan the bad eggs to compare it. Mm -hmm. And... It's really cool because it's good when you have a, uh, what do they call that in science? A baseline. A baseline to go off of and it adds up to really cool scientific stuff. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, Z and I have a lot of work to get to and that's going to be that. But let's go look at the lemurs, Z, see how they're doing. Loki, Rufus. Hi, guys. Hi. Of course, here comes Rufy. Rufus. Hi, Rufus. Rufus, kisses. Aw, oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're picking my nose with your tongue, buddy. Oh, I don't know how good that is, but. Loki, Loki. What, Loki? Hi, buddy. It's hot today, huh, guys? Yeah. Yeah, it's a warm day. We put rocks in the cage because this way it's easier uh, when you're hosing out the cage and getting all the poop out. Um, we're going to layer it with rocks so it washes down, and then we disinfect it and then put them back in the cage. And hi! We just got done doing all that, and... Loki's a little freaked out because of the hose. And he's like, why are you doing this? Why do you insist on getting my cage so wet? It's okay, buddy. Oh, you're still mad at me? Are you still mad at me? Oh, no, you aren't. No, you aren't. Like, give me kisses. Yeah. Oh, just a quick one. And Rufus keeps pulling you out of the way to get to my hand. Oh. All right, Z, enough playing around. Let's get back to work. We got to put the crocodile eggs back, and then we got stuff to do. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, well, 
it's florida soaking wet i had to go change again and i'm already sweating through this new shirt it's ridiculous but it rained a little bit and we've been getting a lot of rain so i wanted to come up here and look at the marsh one more time get a good look at this come on let's go check this out it's just continuing to come up and this is beautiful this is great this water is so high and it is awesome all these gators out there they've got big big ponds now see in the middle of the marsh it's like this it's deep but it's over there and that's when it, the marsh goes low it's just out there we got a bunch of gators out there now you can see a couple of them and a couple of them are just their heads are up and there's a couple looking at me oh let's see what else is going on oh man yeah i'm not gonna bug him he's up here laying out and we'll see what's going on There's a little female right there. It's amazing because they could be just anywhere and just pop up. It's crazy. Oh, look, she just went down and she's going off a little bit. But let's go over here and look at the swampy area, see what it's looking like. That big boy's just sitting on the bank over there. All it is right here still. Man, this rain is great. I gotta tell you. Holy smoke. There's some gators out there I see them. This is starting to fill up. It's even a little higher than it was the other day. When I showed you guys the marsh the first time, this is actually coming up more. You can see back through there how the water's coming in. And this is so awesome because this is supposed to be a whole little flat plain in here and then a deep area right here this is where we release a lot of the gators right here to come in there and you can see a gator tail drag mark right through there going right across all right z stay here i'm gonna go check this out This water back in here is nice and cool. This is amazing. We got a, another uh, tropical storm system brewing out there in the Caribbean or the Caribbean or Caribbean, whatever way you want to say it, out by the Lesser Antilles. And that, we don't know if it's going to be heading this way. so. We might be packing snakes and everything all over again. We don't know. But who, who knows what can go wrong. Hopefully, I don't have to call Scooter and say, get up here and let's pack snakes again. But 
All right, we got a quick look at the marsh. What do you guys say? Let's go check on the baby ringtail lemur, the newest one. We haven't checked on him in a little while. Let's go do that. What do you guys think? All right, let's go. All right, guys, come on, let's check out. The lemurs. Oh my goodness, look at the baby. He's on the back right there. You guys all look great. I can't wait till this winter when we start high mort. High mort. When we start building the uh, new big enclosures, that's going to be so good. And we decided now all winter is going to be building stuff on the farm because it's just too hot and muggy and just miserable out during the summer. So summers will be spent maintaining everything, cutting grass and doing stuff. And during the winters, we'll build new stuff. Look at that, look at the baby. Look at him looking. Oh my goodness. So, so beautiful. That is amazing. God, I love these guys. The ring tails are so cool. We gotta get new bamboo in here. We might get to that later today or tomorrow, we'll see. We gotta clean them out, rake them out, put new bamboo in. What do you guys think, huh? What do you think? We're gonna get, you guys will probably be the first troop moved down there. And then we can put, then we can take this cage, rebuild it down there and then put that troop in this one, build them a new night house and all. I decided I'm gonna go with that plastic wood because that doesn't rot or anything and it doesn't fall apart. So it's a little more expensive, but you know, sometimes that's what you gotta do and it'll last longer. And that way, what I'll do is see this enclosure, I'll attach it to this one and this will be the, the enclosure that has the night house in it and there'll be no night house in here just places for them to play and they can go back and forth through there and we'll feed them in this one so they get used to coming into this one and we're going to do all our enclosures like that so that the um, lemurs go back and forth and then when storms are coming We'll, hit, we'll have that plastic wood, the really good stuff, and they'll have a bigger night house in here. It'll probably be like this big and take up the whole back, like here from this post all the way back. And that'll be a night house where we can lock them down during storms. Somebody's out shooting. Uh, but... There's a lot of things to do this winter, boy. And what we're gonna concentrate on is the lemur area. That's gonna be the main, main focus. And then who knows what else? We gotta get the, we gotta get two big ringtail enclosures, three actually, and two big rough enclosures. So one for the reds, one, and we only got one red so far, but next year we'll get hopefully another, we'll get a female and the following year we'll get a male and female. But we're, we need one more female black and white. So next year we'll get a female black and white and a female red. And that way when we set up everybody, it'll be two males to two females with the roughs. And then the ringtails will have their own big group. So this will be really, really cool. Guys, it is just so exciting, but it is getting really hot. And it looks like rain's coming back. So, wow. There's some big guns. Who knows? People target shooting, getting ready for deer season, I guess. But... I'm gonna get back to doing stuff. Here, let me see this, Z. Let's look at oh, that baby. Oh 
Oh, that is so cool. Let's see if I can get a good look at it here. Hi, Mama. I think your baby's cute. There it is. Mama. Oh, look at the baby. Look at that baby's cute little face. Oh. Can I see your baby? She's like, nope, I'm out of here. All right. There you guys are. You guys are cute too. All of you are cute. Don't worry. You're all good looking lemurs. I love how you guys look. You guys are so healthy and so, look at those tails. Look at the beautiful, beautiful lemurs. All right, we got a couple in the box over there. They sense the rain coming. They sense it. All right, I'm gonna get back to doing stuff. You guys have a wonderful day. Remember, get swamped, share your passion, and random acts of kindness. It makes the world a much better place. Looky, looky, oh. <laughs> she's looking and she's like, which way do I go out? <laughs> They're looking through the trees. Must have been a squirrel running or something. Or there could be a buzzard up there. But they're not alerting. They're just on the uh, lookout. Hi. Hi, guys. All right, guys. We will see you next time. You guys got to see some cool stuff today. Some br scientific breakthrough egg stuff. And all kinds of neat stuff. Oh, sorry. I'm filming you while you're peeing. I know. Nobody likes to be filmed while they're peeing. But Z does it to me every once in a while. All right, guys, get swamped, share your passion, random acts of kindness makes the world a much better place. You guys take care, love y'all, and join us next time. We'll see ya.